so hey guys welcome back with another video on hectify diaries where you get to learn about cyber security ethical hacking and also uh, help related to any certifications like if you are a student and preparing for any certifications like ch egpt or anything and you get stuck like from where to get study material what to do and how to do and if you don't understand anything like you can then connect with me over my telegram channel you can join my group where you get study materials live supports and apart from that also like if you have any doubts you can just ping me over the comment section and you can describe your whatever the issues you are facing so guys in today's video we gonna talk about some little bit topic about c paint exam so those who have cleared their ch exam those who are done with their ch practical exam and they want to go for any other certifications then i'll suggest you guys many of them like prepare like many of them like they are those who are new and they don't know about anything so what they do they go only directly for the oscp oscp i'm not saying it's not a good certification it's a good certification as compared to market okay but if i want to show you something like this oscp was a c pen so you can see that Offensive security and CPEN certified uh, professionals are both well respected presentation testing certification but their career to different career path but they cater to the different career paths and learning preference over CP focus on hands on exploitation techniques particularly with the Kali Linux which CPEN provide you more comprehensive and real world approach so if you really want to learn everything whatever uh, VAPT and list or whatever uh, as a like a uh, web penetration tester do so i'll suggest you guys that go for the cpen certification because it will gonna teach you more real world scenarios things okay like including the clouds iot's if you want to learn about the operation technology securities then internet of things and a broad broader range of to topic which one which we uh, which you gonna learn in the cpen if you want to go for the same knowledge which you'll give in the oscp but if you you also know that the oscp little bit not little bit but it's very very costly as comparing the cpen and cpen is real uh, cpen is focusing on more real world scenarios okay so if you want to go for after any certification like after clearing your ch then i will suggest you you can go for the cpen where you will learn about the active directories where you learn about the ctf ranges pivoting double pivoting iot let me just give you some brief idea about how you are going to learn okay so just suppose an example this is my windows server 2016 then this is my kali linux machine then here is my ubuntu machine so once you will done once you will done with your ch and if you want to go for this one the cpent one so uh, let me tell you you gonna learn how to attack how to hack the windows servers you gonna learn how to attack the ubuntu machine just suppose with an example this is my ubuntu uh, sorry windows server machine 2016 so let me just show you by doing some demonstration videos like how how you gonna learn everything so just take an example this is my windows server okay let me just log in into my machine and here we go and see my login to my ubuntu machine which is my ubuntu 20.4 lts okay and here we go now if i want to attack or if i want to compromise this both machine so what i can do i can let me just show you this is my parent machine first of all if config so here is my ip and my another ip of my windows server is this one let me just show you if config sorry ip config not if config ip config work in the windows and the if in win, uh, like ubuntu linux machine okay so this is both ip my ip of my machine so what i'm going to do let me show you how you can attack okay like i uh, nmap hyphen v 10.0.2.15 then hyphen a and here we go So it will take a couple of seconds to give me the complete details of our target of my target machines, and once this uh, target will be done. So in short, I want to say you that in the C paint you gonna learn about everything, how to exploit the Active Directory machine, how to perform the remote desktop attacks, how to perform the SMB attacks. And right now, if you can see, there are multiple ports are open like three three eight nine. So what I can do if I want to crack the credentials for the RDP, which is the three three eight nine port is open. So what I can do, I can go for the Hydra. then i can go for the instead of smb then i can perform the rdp attacks it will take a couple of seconds to give me the credentials for the rdp and now you can see we have successfully gained the rdp credentials so what i can do i can go for the expiry rdp and here we go and once i will give the username and the password it will going to ask me the user password again i'll simply do the expiry rdp uh, sorry i'll give the rdp apart from that what you can do you can go for the remina also remina is also a software with the help of you you can get the access of the target machine once you get the credentials okay 
so i'm just giving an example like this types of things okay more 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 than this types of thing you gonna learn in the cpaint like how to perform the brute force attacks how to find the uh, how to do the privilege escalations how to perform the uh, rest of the attacks like finding the domain controller changing the domain controller then performing the sql injections attack doing the linux hardening so let me just give you an example now we have the username and the passwords so what i can do administrator and the password is this and here we go it will start connecting and done guys so right now you can see now we have a successfully cracked the credentials and we have a remote access of our target machine what we can do to check our complete details of our target machine and bit stat hyphen n so we can see that the machine name is this like hydra marvel 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 like username so we can under understand that the domain name of the machine is hydra hyphen dc and this is the username which is the marvel if i want to check like who am i so you can see we are administrator and the username is marvel which means the machine is inside the domain and the domain name is marvel and hydra hyphen dc if i want to show you also let me just come to my windows uh, machine and i need to log in again because from there we have logged in so it will automatically logged out from here okay it will take a couple of second and here we go done now if i want to just go here see uh, sorry run button then type the sysdm sort cpl and if i want to just check to rename this computer generally it's making a work grip okay change it to domain work group click change the identification of the computer cannot be changed because our certification authority is installed okay fine so there is a ca certification is installed which i need to first disable then only further i can perform the uh, rest of the commands or like i need to become a root user or i need to become a admin admin mode i need to open that in, in the admin mode then only it will gonna work so this is how you can perform an attack machines like this for example if i want to show you like this 10.0.2.4 this is my ubuntu machine and if i want to attack and if i want to get the access of this machine what i can do and map and instead of 15 what i can go i can give the 24 okay 24 let me remove this and here we go now we'll wait for a couple of seconds to check that some any other ports are open which can help us to take the any access or not like 80 web servers or 22 something like that so let me just come here again and let me check i have given the correct ip address or not 10.0.2.24 find the ip address is correct so let me come back again here and done now we can see there is a port which is available like 139 four four five 22 24 is open okay so what i can go i can go for the again brute force attack to see if i can find out any credentials or not ssh and wait will take a couple of seconds to crack the username and the password if it will be there okay fine so yeah done guys we have successfully cracked the username and the password so username was this and now we are going to the password the password is root and boom guys now we are inside our target machine so let me just change the directory desktop and mkdir to create a new directory you have been hacked okay and done let's check that the directory is created on the desktop or not and let's see and yes guys we can see you have been hacked a multiple directory has been created which means we have successfully cracked the ubuntu machine but this was easy but in the exam this was this will not be such easy to do but if you want to learn how to perform more and more attacks how to attack the domain controller how to perform the ticketing tools how to hack the windows server machine 2016 in multiple multiple ways so you guys can connect with me if you want to to learn all these things i'm going to provide you more and more details about these things so that's it for today guys the video is the video purpose only to make you understand that cpaint is also is is as equals to oscp level and if you want to go for any other certification after ch then go for the o cpaint because cpaint is going to give you more and more knowledge than the oscp where you going to learn about as i already told you active directories operation technology which is a very demanding uh, technology in right now in the market then you will learn the ctf capture the flag how to capture the flags in the machines by uh, hacking the machine in the multiple multiple ways then doing the lin pace to perform the linux privilege escalations then you going to use the win pace then you going to learn how to use the im packet then you going to learn about the smb clients all this attack you going to learn in the multiple ways to how to perform the metasploit attacks on the target machines so this thing will going to give you more and more and a huge knowledge and once you will done with the cpaint and once you will get your cpaint certification you can say yourself now you have become a literally real hacker because whatever expect whatever whatever the mindset you apply in this exam it's totally literally very very tough 
so if you can if you able to clear this certification you will get a good knowledge and a good reputation in the market also so that's it for today guys video if anyone interested or if anyone wants to go for any other certification if you are thinking to go for the oscp then i'll suggest go for the cpen because i'm not saying that don't go for the cp oscp if you have money because oscp is almost cost you 1 lakh 20000 where the cpen will gonna cost you around 60 to 70000 okay with more and more uh, knowledge so go for the cpen that's what i am suggesting so that's it for today video guys i hope you understand what you have to do and we'll meet in the another video with a more knowledgeable knowledgeful videos as of now that's it thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe and like guys again i'm telling you because it very it take very times to make such videos for you guys so that's it thank you bye